Well, hello, this is Tumble Dumpling, and welcome to another video. Today, I don't want to do another function build for you. I want to do something a little bit different. I released a video a little while back called, Where Do I Put My Function Files? Now, I want to update that. Not only do I want to show you how to find your .minecraft folder in Windows 7 and Windows 10, because they are a little bit different, I also want to go through the process of downloading the files and extracting them so I don't have to do that in any future videos. I'm just going to reference back to this. I know my hardcore fans have done this many, many times, so they don't need to see it anymore. But I'll give it to you in this one last video, because it's all the same for Minecraft 112, 113, and now 114. Let's have a look at it. So before we get into the actual file locations and all that, let's talk about proper game setup. In single player, I'm going to create a new world. And it's preferable that I go into creative mode. You can do this in survival mode. The key here is you need to have allow cheats turned on. You cannot use command blocks without having this on. You also can't use command blocks without putting yourself into creative mode. Very important. If you decide that you're going to run a Minecraft server, in your server file, you need to set your server properties. Mine is just called servers, but it's a properties file. So let's go into that. Right near the middle, we're going to come across something called enable command blocks. Default is set to false. You need to change that to true and save it. If you don't do that, command blocks don't work. In Windows 7, what we're going to be looking for is the little start menu off on the bottom left corner, which you can't see right now. When you click on it, you will see this little dialog box. You're going to type in percent app data percent and roaming pops up. Click on it. Look right at the top. That is the dot Minecraft folder. That is where you need to be. Double click on it to go into it. So fortunately, Windows 10 is only slightly different than Windows 7. I have the start menu, which is the little four squares down on the side here. I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to start typing percent app data percent and now I'm going to select the app data folder and look at that right at the top dot minecraft now at this point in time it's advisable to right click on it and create a shortcut on your desktop that'll make it really really fast and easy to get to it so in every single one of my function file videos there's going to be links in the description below that have the different function file download locations Every time it's going to bring you to something like this in Google Drive. The way to download these things is the same every time you come to the actual folder, you right click on it, download. You'll see this dialog down below. It'll save the file. And I typically just go like this and drag it right onto my desktop, get rid of my browser, right click on the file I downloaded, extract all. It's gonna put it into another folder. And you will see the file you get to deal with there. The final step is always open up your .minecraft folder, go into your saves, Choose whatever save you're going to put it into. And in the save, you'll find data packs. This one's empty. And all I'll do is take this, drag it, and drop it right into there. That's it. That's the way it's going to be every time. And that's the same for Minecraft 112, 113, and 114. For Minecraft 112, the function file location is slightly different. So let's go into our .minecraft folder. Go into saves and find our 112 file, this tree farming one. What we're looking for is not the data packs like we have been. It's actually in data for 112, 112 only, mind you. When I go into functions, now I take my functions that I've downloaded and directly drop them into there. So I just go like that. So it's only slightly different. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it helpful. Like, 
comment, subscribe. Have a good day.